welcome back to the channel. This is Jason and you're tuned into I Speak Geek. So today I'm very excited just because Apple this week released Mac OS Catalina 15.5. And as you may know from my previous videos, I have mentioned that I was having an issue with my MacBook Pro whenever it would go to a power nap uh, and I would wake the machine, it would give me an error message. An unknown error has occurred. Uh, your machine has been restarted. And with this update from Apple, uh, it has resolved that issue. I haven't seen it. And I've been watching it like a hawk for a few days. And what I wanna say about this update, Apple released some new features in here more specifically the battery health feature. So this is akin to the feature that's found on the iPhone where uh, your machine charges up to 80% and then closer to the time when you're about to wake up, it charges the rest of that 20%. So that's supposed to allow the battery to last a lot longer. So now they brought that feature over to the MacBook. So, you know, it's going to charge your machine most of the way and then closer to the time that you're interacting with the machine, um, it will charge it the rest of the way. So this is going to preserve the chemical life of the battery. So that's a, a big feature. I'm excited to see it. And if you're not a fan of it, you can turn that feature off. It does give you the option just like it does with iOS. So more in this particular update, uh, they also fine tuned um, FaceTime where you're able to uh, turn off prominence for FaceTime calls. So if you're on a FaceTime call, it usually tries to make the size of the screen a little bit bigger for those per those people who are talking. So this can get a little bit distracting and some people wanted the option to turn it off. That has been introduced in this particular update. If you like to keep your window just like the same size, you can go into your settings and FaceTime and then change that particular option. So also in this update, um, Apple gave you an option to better fine tune those XDR displays. Um, for those who actually have them, unfortunately I don't, but you now have the ability to calibrate that a little bit better with it, this version of macOS Catalina. So I'm very happy they released this. You know, like I said, I've been having some issues and that has been resolved with this particular update. Uh, this also has a lot of bug fixes in there. Um, you know, I'll bring it up on the screen and you can, you know, read through the notes to see which actual bugs that have been fixed with this particular version. And then also for iOS devices, uh, a lot of you who are using HBO now, it looks like they went ahead and updated the app. It's now HBO Max. And for those people on, you know, Roku devices or Fire TVs, you're not going to see that update. Uh, it's only come to iOS and Android. So I noticed it on my iPhone that I have the HBO no Now app, and, you know, skimming through it. Not much content has been released for HBO Max just because it's a new service and a lot of that stuff is going to be next year. So a little bit disappointed, but it's nice to know that, you know, the, the app is updated and I can watch it on my phone or I can just hit the web page from my MacBook Pro. So that's it guys, kind of a short video. Just really want to talk about those bug fixes and the update is out. If you are experiencing any issues, I would suggest go ahead and download macOS Catalina 15.5. And if you, if you were having an issue like I was, it is resolved with this particular update. So I'll catch you guys later. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video and um, more content to come. So see you later, guys.